Listen, I heard about what you did, Flock. How hard you fought to ensure that Ervin would be revived. That's right. You should be dead, and Ervin should stand in your place. I'm not alone in thinking that. All of us do. Everyone who read that report had the same thought. Why wasn't Ervin the one that was saved? What do you know about Armin to justify saying that? Not a damn thing! Yeah, you're right. I'm not a childhood friend of his. Hell, I'm not his friend at all. But I can still tell you why he's the one standing here now. It's because you two got emotional and Captain Levi did the same. You made an irrational choice. You treated that syringe like it was yours and wasted it. He's alive because you think your friends are more important than the rest of us. All right. I think it's time you shut your mouth. <laughs> Aaron, I bet even at your core, you're always completely certain that you're in the right. That's why you wouldn't give up. You're like a little kid who won't listen to reason. Aaron, just leave him be, all right? At least Mikasa acted like an adult out there. I saw her give up in the end. Jeez, what the hell's wrong with you two? Hey, Flock, let's not do this during a memorial for our fallen comrades. What's done is done, so there's no sense in dredging it up again. As for you two, you might not have acted against your superiors, but you didn't try to stop Aaron and Mikasa either. You didn't do anything but watch. Medals? For what? A memorial for who? When you guys start rebuilding the Survey Corps, you better tell your recruits the truth. Or else you'll just end up with cowards like me in the ranks. What the hell are we supposed to do now that we've lost Ervin? I know that I'm just fodder. I understand that my life is expendable, but still, I should get to call it like I see it. <laughs> and to decide if this cause is worth dying for. <laughs>